Hi gamers to Let's Play 101st Airborne. This is SKS with your, I guess we could call this, the Plane of Doom sequence. In a short time of posting two videos tonight, I've noticed that people have given me a slim chance to none of survival on this. It's kind of scary, you know, everybody babyfies the military nowadays, but yet when they talk about games like this, they know how costly a video game can be. Just try doing that with real life. But we are here now, time to line the guys up and put them in order. And I've been sitting here trying to come up with what kind of order I want. I mean, yeah, you can click on them here, and you can tell what they're carrying, but we pretty much know from the last video. My uh, seven officers, or six officers, excuse me, are right through here. We have Captain Kitchen, Captain Edwards, Second Lieutenant De Gaulle, Sergeant Rogers, Corporal Yates, and Corporal Cronin. We also have Dick Manley, starting the enlisted T.J. Morrison, Brinker Smith, our machine gunist, Russ Andrews, he speaks French. Wally Campbell, our explosives at, or excuse me, this is Wally Campbell. I'm off a little bit. This is Russ uh, Andrews, and this is Paul Murphy. Uh, but Russ Andrews speaks uh, French. This is Wally Campbell, he's carrying explosives. So is Angus Garvey. We have Thomas Swanson, or Swinson, I always get his name wrong. Here we have Joseph Murray, he speaks both French and German very valuable in the field. Walter Schmidt speaks German. Here we have Theodore Underwood, aka Tick, that you all love. And you have Chief Gene Neely. Like I do in most of my Let's Plays, I pulled out the vodka and orange juice. I actually drank a lot while watching the basketball game earlier. To try to come up with in order to make these guys jump out that would somehow be good. So, I've, I put a lot of thinking in, I kind of think back to certain movies, and I think of the one Mel Gibson movie. In Vietnam. Maybe it's Korea. But he tells them, he said he promised his men he'd be the first man on the ground and the last man to leave. And that was a very good uh, war section of the movie. So I think that's why I'm going to make Captain Kitchen here be the first person to jump. And after that, it just becomes super hard because the instruction book, I actually found it online if any of you are interested. You can find it in PDF format. If you want to know the link, uh, or you just want me to email it to you, uh, just uh, send me a message. Not on a comment or anything, because I might miss it, but send me an actual message on YouTube. And I'll send it to you, because it's about 50-something pages of great information on the game. But it warns you, to get to the point, that uh, after the eighth person, you don't know what's going to happen. So I think what I'll do is I'll do up to eight, and then I'll start at the back and work my way up. I made about ten lists while I was sitting here, trying to figure out who to put on here next. And the only person I can figure that really needs to be safe along with Captain Kitchen is Tick. Because he has our demolition charges, and I feel that he has to make it. So we're going to make him jump second. And after that, it goes to who we need next. And I feel that Wally and then Captain Edwards need to be on the ground. I feel that our captains have to make it. And then also following explosives, Harvey, or Angus Garvey, excuse me, the Bach is talking. We'll put him fifth. And then I want to get the Gaul on the ground in case we need some sprint speakers because we will be landing in France and if we find any French resistant fighters I want him to be there 
Now I'm going to go to the back of the plane, and we'll work our way up. If you have a favorite in this episode, and you'd really like them to see or survive, post a comment, and we'll keep track of it, because I'll stop the video after I load the plane, and then I'll put a new video up when they get ready to jump. So post a, post a comment on who you'd like to see. Again, we got Captain Kitchen here, Captain Edwards, Captain or Second Lieutenant Peter de Gaulle, he speaks French, Sergeant Rogers, Corporal Yates, Corporal Koenig, then we go into our enlisted, that's our six officers. We go to Private First Class Dick Manley, Private First Class Dick T.J. Morrison, Brinker Smith, Paul Murphy, Russ Andrews, Wally Campbell, Explosives Expert, would have a bazooka, but we don't have any this time, Angus Garvey, Thomas Swinson, Joseph Murray, who speaks French and German, Walter Schmidt, who speaks German, Theodore Tick Underwood, Explosives and Bazooka Expert, and Chief Gene Neely, the Native American. So yeah, just leave me a little comment about what you want to see happen. Let's start at the back of the plane. Let's see, I have to kind of count down here to make sure who I'm doing. So we have um, Dick, TJ, Brinker, Paul, Russ Andrews. Sadly, I'm going to put him in the last seat. I know he speaks French, but his skills are kind of low. Second to last, Chief Gene Neely. 17th. I do like his tattoo on the arm. This guy has some tattoos as well. 16th. I believe we have Thomas Swenson here. Fifteenth, I'm going to put Corporal Koenig. I think that we need to have some officers in case they get split up. Because in the game, you say the first eight guys make it out, or even the first four, and then the second six get lost on a different map square, you can locate them and regroup with them. So if these guys in the back do get separated somehow, I want to have an officer there who can keep up with them. Fourteenth. Corporal Yates. Corporals are just one little shot up away from private, so I feel they should be in the back of the bus, or in this case, the plane. Thirteenth, and I really, really... I want to put Sergeant Rogers there, but I feel like I need another officer up front. So we get a number 12. Which is Paul Murphy. So he'll be 13th now. Number 12 will be Brinker Smith, our machine gunist. Last, 
last but not least. See you next time for the jump. God bless and good night.